Dysis is the first digital colposcope with advanced cervical imaging. A clinician can perform all the essential functions of colposcopy on the touch screen. In addition, Dysis uses a proprietary technology to standardize the exam and quantify the intensity and duration of the aceto whitening effect to create a color-coded map. The Dysis map highlights the most intense areas of aceto whitening to help the provider identify potential areas of concern to biopsy. Setting up Dysis Ultra for a patient exam. Dysis Ultra includes a computer with all the necessary ports, imaging head, and a touchscreen monitor for the provider. To power on, plug the Dysis Ultra power cord into the power outlet and press the green power button on the back of the base to turn it on. To move Dysis Ultra, push down on the green pedal to release the foot brake and position. Dysis Ultra can be positioned on the right or left side of the exam table for provider preference and comfort. Ideally, the imaging head should be positioned in front of the clinician with the arm in a V. The monitor display should be positioned over or to the side of the patient's legs. Once in the proper position, press the red brake pedal to engage the foot brake so it is stable during the exam. To avoid injury, never use your hands to operate the foot pedal. The acetic acid applicator is located on the side of the imaging head. To fill the acetic acid bottle, remove the bottle from the holder, unscrew it from the cap, fill, and place back into the holder. To prime the tubing to remove any air, select the menu button from the home screen. Place a paper towel in front of the diffuser, located in the front of the speculum connector, and press Purge. This may need to be repeated several times to remove all the air. Log in to Dysis Ultra using the provider's username and password. These will be provided by a Dysis representative or your local administrator. To create a new patient record, select the New Patient icon from the main menu and enter at least the minimal patient information, which is labeled as Required, including the first name, last name, patient ID number, and date of birth. To enter the date of birth, select the month, day, and year and press OK. Additional information can be added by selecting the corresponding icon. From the patient visit record, press the Referral Reason box and enter the referral information by selecting the pap smear, HPV results and types, or the reason for colposcopy. Entering a new visit on an existing patient. If a patient has already had a Dysis Ultra colposcopy, Additional visits can be added to an existing patient record. To add a visit, press Patient Database from the home screen and search by the first name, last name, ID number, or date of the last visit. A list will appear to select the correct patient. Select New Visit to create a new visit record for that patient. Complete the referral reason and add any additional information. Procedure Tray Setup the procedure tray is set up as usual for a colposcopy exam, except there should be no acetic acid on the tray. The provider should clean the cervix with a dry swab or saline prior to the Dysis exam. Dysis has three sizes of proprietary disposable specula, small, medium, and large. Ensure there are a variety of sizes available for the provider. Dysis Ultra is now ready for the examination. The Dysis exam. The provider will select the Dysis exam button to turn on the imaging headlight in order to insert the speculum. Next, the provider will press Enter Dysis Mode, then Start Dysis Mapping to automatically apply the acetic acid and start the procedure from the touchscreen interface. To close out the exam and return to Patient Visit Report, select Save and Close or select the back arrow key adding patient history. To add patient history, like biopsy histology results and treatment and management plans, select Patient Database from the main menu. Search by the first name, last name, ID number, or date of the last visit. Select the visit you would like to review and press Review Visit. Select Histology Results 
and enter information using the boxes and keyboard. Creating a DICES PDF report. Images which are included in the patient report will be labeled as In Report below the image. To remove any images, select In Report and the image will not be included. Press the View Report button and select Print if configured for a printer or Export to PDF to save the report to a USB or EMR. This can be done at any time following completion of a DICES exam. Close all windows until you are back to the DICES main menu to save the exam. Powering off DICES Ultra. To shut down or log out of the DICES Ultra, select the menu icon on the left side of the home screen and select Log Out or Shut Down. After DICES Ultra has shut down, turn off the green power button on the back of the base. Fold the arms, protecting the imaging head and the touch screen by folding them over the base. Unplug from the power supply or turn off the surge protector. Release the brake by pressing the green pedal and move the DICES Ultra by pushing from the base pole for storage until the next exam.